Hello, my friends. Today, we will talk about cross-hatching techniques in drawing. With an example of face shading, in cross-hatching, this technique is used to create a special visual effect in drawings and designs. There are several main ways to implement cross-hatching in shading. 1. Cross-hatching. Parallel lines are drawn in two perpendicular directions to create an overlapping grid pattern. The thickness and density of the lines can be adjusted to achieve different degrees of shading. This pattern creates a 3D effect and adds a textured texture to the surface. 2. Radial cross-hatching. Intersecting lines are drawn radially from a central point. This pattern is used to create radiating or circular effects. It can be used to shade circular or oval shapes. 3. Interlocking. Cross-hatching. Intersecting lines are drawn in an overlapping manner, creating a braided or interlaced pattern. This pattern creates a rich texture effect and varied textures. It is often used in decorative designs and applied arts. These cross-hatching techniques provide creative ways to add texture and 3D dimension to drawings and designs, adding depth and visual complexity to artwork. Density and Direction Control the density and orientation of the hatching lines can be adjusted to control the intensity and direction of the shading. Varying the line spacing, thickness, and crossing angles allows for a wide range of tonal variations and lighting effects. Denser hatching creates darker, more solid shading, while sparser hatching produces lighter, more delicate effects. Narrative and expressive qualities. The rhythmic, structured nature of cross-hatching can convey a sense of order, precision, and control. Variations in the hatching patterns and line quality can also be used to evoke different moods, emotions, or narrative themes. Cross-hatching is often used in editorial illustrations, comic book art, and technical drawings to add depth, texture, and visual interest to the compositions. Cross-hatching remains a versatile and widely used technique in the visual arts, blending technical precision with creative expression. Its ability to create rich, textural effects and convey a sense of depth and materiality continues to make it a valuable tool in the artist's and designer's toolkit. Follow the video until the end. I would be happy to know your opinion in the comments, answer your questions, and know your suggestions. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell button to receive all new updates.